Welcome to another Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the transparency tool and the ability to add multiple nodes to have a multiple transparency effect. So I've drawn this as sort of our, our base background just to have it. Obviously in a design that you're working on it could be diamond plate or you know metal effect or you know stone or whatever. Uh, and we're going to just use something simple here to create a nice effect. So I'm going to throw this out, fill this with white, and so obviously this is a very, very basic, you know, setup, right? We have the two, two objects. Now normally with the transparency tool, you could simply click and drag and have a, have a gradient effect of full opacity to full transparency. And, you know, there you go. And in the old days, sort of the earlier days, what a lot of people would do is they would take this object, they would then duplicate this object, flip it, and you could have an effect, you know, of something along the lines of, um, you know, going from, I'm going to take the border off each of those, so that it was fully opaque in the middle and then fully transparent. So it was just a, a bigger, on both ends, it was, it was transparent, right? And so that, you know, you could do that. Uh, there is an easier way to do that with Corel, way easier, and allows you, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm backing up, I should have paused it. Um, allows you to do effects that uh, would be hard to do manually like that. So um, let's take a peek. I am going to remove the border just for the sake of that. And I'm going to grab the transparency tool. I'm going to click and drag from one end to the other, holding my control key so it's nice and straight. And down here at the bottom, it's fully, uh, fully transparent. And in Corel 7, it has this little thing here that tells you and allows you to adjust it. Uh, I believe in the previous versions, it did not. Uh, but you can do some of the same effects very quickly and easily. So how do we have multiple nodes on here that will allow us to have a, a variation? Well, it's pretty simple. If you see my video on the fill effect, we were able to drag in various colors into the fill. You can do the same thing with transparency, which is very cool. So black is fully transparent. White is fully opaque, fully parent. Um, just kidding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab white and drag it into, say, the middle here. And now we're, we're all the way white here, and we're nothing here. Now I'm going to grab black and drag it to the top node. So now what I have is an effect of transparent at the bottom, opaque in the middle, and then transparent at the top. So you could have, you know, a bar, you know, that's sort of showing like this in the middle of, uh, you know, a glowing bar in the middle of, you know, whatever background you have going on. And that's pretty cool. You could duplicate that and have two or three of them on the page, you know, whatever you wanted. But along with the fill tool, the transparency tool allows you to keep going with that. So what you could do is you could have multiple nodes and multiple transparency nodes intermixed. And I can drag these in you know, next to each other to kind of create an effect in the middle. And so very quickly, I can create an effect of having you know, two bars that are reflecting light. You know, they look like uh, you know, tubes in a video game. They're always in the hallways or whatever, right, in all the movies you watch. Uh, and then you could obviously do a gradient in the background itself if you wanted to enhance that. So it went from a you know, black, make it super black, to a lighter. You know, depending on what you wanted to do, you could um, uh, take your interactive fill tool do the same kind of effect where you drag it around, you know, put black where you want black to be. Right, so, so at this point, everything's just black, which, you know, is want to just have it filled black. Well, what you can do is you can then start throwing in, um, you know, other effects if, if you wanted to, right? And so slight variations of the effect, depending on, depending on what you want to do with it. And obviously, you could play with uh, you know, color variations and whatnot as well. So you could uh, uh, take, you know, make it look like it's glowing green or blue or whatever. Um, but by simply using the transparency tool in a way that is more than just straight uniform transparency or a single gradient transparency, you know, multiple nodes, you're able to have a very neat effect that really dresses up, you know, a design. Again, if if it it's 
something that you want to have like you know a glowing light you know who knows right depends on what you're working on but that that uh, that of course as always i leave up to you to figure out the most creative and cool ways to use this information so using the transparency tool you know in a neat unique way um hopefully this is something that you didn't know and now you do Thanks uh, once again for watching the Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. Today we learned a little bit more about the transparency tool and having multiple nodes. We'll talk to you next time.